Hello and welcome back to Chill Vibes Only, CBO Wellness. My name is Ali and today I'm going to be talking about why you should schedule sex with your long-term partner. So you may hear the idea of like scheduling sex and think that's a bore or that is going to take all the fun out of sex and that's not how sex should be. It should be spontaneous or it should be something that just happens naturally. But unfortunately, that's not realistic for our relationships and it's definitely not realistic for the way that we live our lives. We schedule so many other things in our lives and for some reason society has taught us that sex shouldn't be one of those things, but I'm here to talk about why it's actually going to be beneficial for your relationship, why it's going to improve your sex life, um, and why it's going to help you and your partner become closer and more connected and actually start to enjoy sex more. So I do want to say a quick caveat. If you are struggling with desire and you have like zero desire to have sex and it's not something you're interested in, this isn't something you should schedule. Um, I have tons of videos on how to like increase desire and how to work through, um, you know, mismatched desires in your partnerships. So definitely check that out. This video is for a couple who, you know, still wants to be intimate. You just, you know, are finding that when someone's initiating, maybe you're not ready to have sex or if you're initiating, they're not ready. You know, maybe you're busy, you have kids, you have jobs, you have hobbies, um, and it's kind of getting deprioritized, but it's something that you want to prioritize. Uh, this video is going to help you understand why potentially scheduling sex with your partner is going to alleviate any of those issues. So when we say scheduling sex, you're not scheduling the type of sex you're going to have. You're just scheduling the time when you're going to be intimate with one another. So it doesn't even have to be like P and B sex. It could be oral sex or it could be handsy stuff. You don't have to plan the type of sex that you're having. You don't have to plan the place where you're having it. Um, you simply are just saying, hey, we are setting aside this period of time and we are going to be in this general vicinity for having sex. And what that does is it doesn't take the spontaneity out of sex because there's still so many different combinations and options to have during it. Um, you're just setting aside that time and prioritizing that time with your partner. So for example, if you want to have sex three times a week with your partner, or maybe three times a month with your partner, you'll set aside those three times. So maybe it's Sunday mornings, um, or you know Thursday evenings, or Wednesday on your lunch break. Set aside those times, and then assign a person for each time to initiate. So maybe on Sunday mornings, you initiate sex, but on Thursday evenings, your partner initiates sex. That way, you're setting up an expectation where both parties know like, okay, this is when we've agreed upon that we want to be intimate with each other, and you're taking charge this time. So now I can relax, I can plan for this, but also have so much spontaneity and allow the intimacy to build up in between those times as well. Because you know you have something to look forward to, it's exciting, um, but yet you're not having sex in the middle times. So that's another big point I want to say is that in order to keep the desire alive and to keep you know looking forward to these scheduled times, I recommend actually not having sex in between because the whole point of desire is that you desire something that you can't necessarily have right away, right? So think about the trip that you book that you're looking forward to. Like in our brains chemically, Sometimes you actually are happier and more excited looking forward to it than actually being on the trip. Now we all enjoy our trips, right? But it's like that excitement that's building that's like getting us to be excited about what's to come. And that's where scheduling sex comes into place. So you're not having sex in between those times. You're just looking forward to what's coming. Instead of living in this you know, no man's land where you don't know when your partner is going to want to have sex or initiate it and you don't know when to initiate or when you want to have sex or maybe your schedules aren't lining up and someone's feeling rejected. This is just a really nice way to set aside time to be intimate with your partner. Um, let that desire build up uh, and then find ways to connect where you're both putting in effort. So like I said, when you do schedule these times, make sure you know who's in charge of initiating during those set times and then let the rest be up to spontaneity and let the rest be a surprise and see how you feel and see if that helps change you know the desire in your sex life and maybe you do start having sex more spontaneously in between those times but to start off you want to set up a bit more structure uh, and just take the pressure off and take you know the thought out of when it's going to happen because you both are on the same page and you've communicated to each other and you both know what to expect while also leaving a little bit of surprise and spontaneity.
Okay, so those are my reasons on why I believe you should schedule sex. Um, I think it was a really great time to do this too. It's like in your vibe check. So I made a video on like uh, doing a vibe check weekly with your partner. Um, you know, at the end of the week, just saying, hey, when do you want to have sex this week? These are our days. Or setting up days for like the next couple months or so. Um, and knowing like that's your time and see how it goes. Let me know if you found this video helpful. As always, we have a ton of different information on our Instagram page at CBL Wellness, so definitely check that out. Please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. That really, really helps our channel. And I'll see you for another video soon.